Okay guys, we have arrived. So today's video, what, what my goal is, is I've located three old churches that date back to about 1860. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to hit all three of them today. So the first one, and I've never been to any of these places, about, I'm about 75 miles from my house. So I've never been here before. The only thing I, would, I did is I ran some history on it and then I got an app where I can find out who owns it. And this is basically owned by the township. So this is considered a park but I've never been here. It's the first time I've been here, so I'm gonna show you guys around. So at this end of it, we have a one-room schoolhouse. I mean, I don't think it's gonna take very long to go through it, plus um, Diamond Jim and Bob from Papa Bear Metal Detectives on to meet us here, and because we're actually in the county they live in. And I didn't know for sure. I was hoping we could probably do this over here, but obviously we are not gonna be able to because there's a sign there that says private property. So I thought this over here would probably be where they would have parked. And the reason I say that is because when I ran the history on it, they used to have a festival here called the Homecoming. And it was here, they held it here from 1919 up to 2013. And that's the only thing that don't make that much sense because it's not really that big. It's not a big area. We got a little creek here. Just give me a second. I got to walk across. I was on a drive up here, but we're out in the middle of nowhere, man. This country road, I had a hard time turning around when I went down the road. We got a little creek. And this is all part of it here. So like I said, it's owned by the township. I don't think we'll have a problem. I mean, we technically don't have permission to get any of these places. But the worst scenario, if someone don't want us here, they'll show up and tell us not to be here or whatever. And I got a feeling it's probably already been metal detected anyways. Well, this is the church. And you can tell it's old. This is the only one I'm not for sure about how old. I know it dates back because where I found it out is in a place about old churches. So I'm sure it dates back. I just, I'm not for sure how old. So this is the church here. And the one room schoolhouse, I don't have any information on that. For all I know, they moved out here. I don't think they did, but it's possible. I'm not for sure. And the graveyard over here, I mean, other than the very, if you look all the way in the very back, there's some old graves in there. Then, like I said, I'm sure the rest of it's probably private property. I mean, this is, looks kind of eerie anyway. Look at it. The curtains are ripped. So I don't think we'll have a problem. It shouldn't take us that long to do this with three of us. So I'll get back to Jack as soon as we get onto a good signal. Okay guys, so I'm doing this back part. It's been pretty clean so far. I mean like no signals. Then I got this here. I mean it's from a muzzle loader. It might be a pistol round. But you can see how it's made. See how it's hand forged? Cause it's got that knot there at the end. First cool find. I don't know how old it is. Plus it was way down in the ground. But it was just chirping, just a light chirp. Cause I figured going this far, it's obviously been metal detected. Cause I haven't had a signal. Other than there's a little piece of metal over there. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto another good signal. Okay guys, I'm on the signal. It's coming in like a nickel. Or it could be a gold ring. But so far, man, it's slim pickings in here, that's for sure. And there's three of us here. But you can tell as soon as you get to a place if it's been metal detected. And you ain't getting no signals. Kind of like the place I was at last weekend. tap <laughs> so i'll get back to you guys since i get on to another one okay guys we're moving on to the next one so basically i found that bullet and that was about it i don't know if it's old or not but i'll show you guys in the wrap up and of course diamond jim what'd you find jim a 1940 silver quarter 
So Jim found a silver. He was the only one. And, and this place has been pounded. Been so pounded. he picked that out of a place that's been pounded. Yeah. Because there was hardly any signals here. When Diamond Jim gets in a place that's been pounded, he goes to work. So we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, guys. We're at our second location. <laughs> this was like, We're like in the backwoods right now. But like I said, I've never been here before. And there used to be a church here. And I can think, I mean, it's possible it could have been over on this side. But I was hoping to find an area where you could just tell the church was where they tore it down. Because I don't metal detect graveyards. You shouldn't metal detect a graveyard. And it doesn't look too encouraging. I mean, the only thing I can think of is maybe it was over here on the side and they just put this hog wire up, but I'm not for sure. So I'll get back to you. I mean, either way, I'll probably, we'll probably metal detect that little circle in the road because I can't tell. So I'll get back to you guys since we get onto a signal. Okay, guys, I think Jim's got something here. But if you can see, it's just a little area right here. This little grassy knoll thing here. This is all we have. This is where the church was setting. So how I found out is I stopped someone that was driving down through here and they told me. But like I said, the church was built in 18, like 1863, I think it was. So you can still find 200 year old silver coin in here. And Jim's already found one today. Whatever it is, it's way down there. Give me a solid 28. like it's tight unless it's dry it's pretty big ain't it Damn. That looks like it's trash. Trash. Okay, guys, Bob's got one. I think it's a pop can. Or it could be a pipe since there's a marker right there. There it is. Pop can. The ever elusive. Look at there, man. It's an old one, though. Look at the pull tab on it. There you go. This is an old, old can let's see what it is it's a pepsi it's an old pepsi can but i think what that kid told me it was in here i think it was over there where those trees are so actually where the church it was is where we don't metal detect so that that grave right there is a newer one so that building was in there and now that it's gone they put graves in there so that's basically i say when i looked at the google map i thought it was like an open area on the one side but i was wrong but like I said, it, if you actually knew how we drove out here with all, I mean, we're out in the middle. I mean, look, there's two trailers over here. We're out in the sticks. But hopefully the next one, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. And hopefully the next one will work out. That's the one with the orchard where they were having the church revivals. Okay, you guys, we're at our third location. So this is an old church too. This is from the 1860s. 
but you can tell over here I gotta walk back in here anyways to figure out how we're gonna be metal detecting this but it's like on a hillside but there's like a road down at the other end and I'm thinking because they used to have church revivals here for like years and years and tons of people would show up here but if you actually knew how we got here I mean the roads are just unbelievable they're just like one lane roads and there's all these I mean it's just we're just out in the middle of nowhere more or less I mean you would even you would never even believe that this church is even sitting out here <laughs> as hard as it was to get back in here so you know the trip itself I tried to put some of it in the video but like I said when I see something cool it you know it's kind of hard to get the camera out but you can tell these graves here are old kind of main it reminds me of that rain rock place i went to there's an old tree but there's like a little road that goes down in here i think we're gonna go around in these woods back here and behind here because you know the orchards it said it what i read that they would have the church revivals in the orchards near the church but I don't know where that could be because all those trees would be dead by now because this happened back in the 1800s. So I would say it's over here because of the graves. So I'll get back to you as soon as one of us gets onto a good signal. Okay, guys, I'm on the signal. But actually, I'm right behind. This is actually an old outhouse that's sitting back here. Well, this signal is practically on top of the ground. So it might be a nail or something, but uh, there's like a pair of underwear laying here too. We can never know, man. I think it's weird that's even here. I've never seen a an outhouse in a graveyard like this. <laughs> a bottle cap, ain't that crazy? If I can get it out of there. <laughs> Was it liquor? I can't even tell. I don't know. Well, I'll get back to you guys. Hopefully someone, I mean, like I said, this church is old and they used to have church revivals back here and eight or 900 people would show up for them. So that's why I seen this toilet. I was like, man, I'm gonna go around it, but I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get into another signal. Okay guys, I'm on another one, but I like, feel like I'm talking about, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it's all growed up back here, but Hopefully I can find that. See it? Did you see it? It's a coin. I think that's unbelievable. Well, this was the last place. This is the last place on my list. So come on, be a good one. a wheat penny i can see a lincoln i'm sure it's an old one you know what i mean but like i said this church here is 1860s i can't see a date on but i can tell it's a lincoln well i'm gonna stick around here that's for sure so i'll get back to you as soon as i get on to another one so he's got silver so let's see what he's got right there yeah. hear that 
course I've already you're going to read Barber. Yeah, it's a barber. So he's got a 1902 barber quarter. Pretty cool, huh? You better believe it's pretty cool. Here, man. You better believe it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty he's cool. He's happy, especially when we're out here and we haven't found anything other than he's got that's two quarters he's got. He's just lucky in the rest of us. Oh. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as we go on something else. Okay, guys, we're on a call today. Um, I'm going to let um jim diamond jim show you what he found since he's the only one who found any silver he found two of them so this is what he got yeah, here we, we found a 1940 rosie and a 1902 barber and that just goes to prove you that he met a 1940 quarter but 1940 quarter and a 1902 and barber 1902 this barber is actually in really good condition i don't yeah. know if it's a a valuable one but it's in real good condition look at it yeah and that so just there's goes, the man. That there's just, the man out of three of us. He's the only one pulled any silver. That just goes to prove you that no place is ever hunted out. Diamond Jim signing off. <laughs>